Hi everyone, this is Pixella. Today I will show how to create merchant SKU in Pixella. There are four ways to create a merchant SKU. So how do we choose the best method for us? If you are already use Pixella inventory function of Pixella and now there are new products to be sold, you can you want to monitor the inventory of the new product. You can choose manually create. If you are already using the Excel to management your warehouse, you can choose to import Excel to create. If the store SKU of the product in your store has been standard fill in and it is the first time to use Pixel inventory function, you can choose use generate based on the store SKU with one click. If you just want to monitor the inventory of the product that has been sold and the store SKU has been standard filled in, you can turn on the automatically creation button. And the system will create according to the store SKU. The first method manually create. Click on the inventory and then click Merchant SKU. And then you need to click Add Merchant SKU. You can choose to create a single SKU. You also can choose Add Combination SKU. Let's first demonstrate how to create a single SKU. Click to add a single SKU. Then in this page, you need to fill the SKU name and then titled. You also can add the feature in here. Here you can set the mapping relationship with store SKU. Click add to add the start and then select the start and then enter the corresponding store SKU. The store SKU is what you enter when you publish the product. Here you can select the warehouse you want to put in and set an initial inventory quantity in here. If you just want to create a merger SKU and don't want to put it in the warehouse or if there is no inventory quantity or stock, you don't need to take off the warehouse or fill in the inventory quantity. But the system will automatically take off the default warehouse. If you don't want it, you no need to take off. Here is a small remember only when only when create a merchant SKU you can select the warehouse and set the initial inventory quantity in here. After successfully creating merchant SKU, if you want to put it in the warehouse or want to add the inventory quantity for this merchant, only can through the through create store in this and then click save oh, click save the merchant SKU is successfully created in this you can see the inventory de detail that is the merchant SKU in what in warehouse like this in warehouse 3 and then in warehouse 2 and stop and next we will demonstrate how to create a combination SKU combination SKU is suitable for 
bundling cells or buy one get one free. You can create a combination SKU in Big Seller and view the actually suitable for the sellable inventory. When process the order in Big Seller, the system will automatically deduct the inventory quantity of the children SKU based on the combination SKU information. Click Add Combination SKU and then enter the SKU name. And then click here to add the product included in the combination SKU. Ink backpack, pencil case, fill in the quantity. For example, if you buy a Buy a school bag, buy a pink bag, and then get a pencil case one free. I need to enter one pink bag and one pencil case. If you buy a one pink bag, get a pencil case free, you need to enter one and one. In here, you can set the mapping relationship with the store SKU, click and then select the store and then enter the store SKU. Here, you can choose the warehouse you want to put in or you no need to choose, you can, you no need to tick off. The combination SKU is not allowed to manually filled in the in initial inventory quantity in here because the inventory quantity of the combination is automatically calcul calculated by the system. For example, if the school bag has, uh, has 50 stock and the pencil bag and the pencil case has uh, 20 stock, then the actually sellable stock of the combination Calculate by the system will be 20. There is a point to note here. Combination SKU cannot be put into the warehouse through the sorting list. You can only click the button select Merge SKU in the inventory list and then select the combination SKU and put it into the warehouse and inventory list. Let's save. And now if you want to put the inventory put the inventory to warehouse you need to click inventory list and then choose the warehouse and then click select the modern SKU that the modern X scale you want put in and then click confirm like this. The second method import Excel to create. In the merchant SKU list, create import and add port and then create import merchant SKU. And then we need to download a template and fill the Excel. This is the Excel I have filled out. Now we need to import and this. Now we need to click this button. And then select the Excel and then import the merchant SKU is successfully created the 
third method is generate motion SKU based on the stored SKU with one click. In the product and Shopee, this video use Shopee as an example. The operations that of other marketplace are the same as Shopee. There are points to note here, that is, before generating the merchant SKU using this method, you must ensure that the slab product has been standard built in the stock SKU. Because the system will generate merchant SKU based on the stock SKU, select the product and then click generate merchant SKU, this button. The system will automatically generate merge SKU name and the pictures. The inventory quantity here is the online inventory of the product. Click this button to delay with one click. Click here, you can manually enter. And then click Generate. The Merchant SKU is successfully created. You can see it in the Merchant SKU list. This. The fourth method. When synchronized order, system will automatically create according to the store SKU. You need to click setting. And then inventory setting. And then you need to open this button. Create merchant SKU automatically. After open, the system will create merchant SKU automatically based on the store SKU in the store. Open, open it means we will create merchant SKU according to store SKU automatically when new order has no mapping merchant SKU. Confirm. Note that using this method, you must ensure that your product has been standard filled in the store SKU. If you have any question, you can contact us via WeChat or Telegram. Thank you for watching.